today we are learning how to make this beautiful bar charts presentation in PowerPoint all the way from scratch. Let's start from a blank slide, right click and format shape, format background, because we're going to add a gradient fill to the background. We want a dark gray tone, so we select the dark gray and a little bit of a lighter gray, so we have a nice gradient from the bottom to the top. Next, we're going to the Design tab and let's change the color scheme to something very colorful. This will look nice on the dark background. We want to add a rectangle and we want to position our cursor on the left side of the slide and then drag it a little bit to the right. Remove outlines and we're going to change the color to yellow. Position it somewhere at the top of the slide. Insert a circle. Position it on the end of the rectangle. Format shape. Add a gradient and now we want to add a gradient which is light gray to white so light gray from the bottom and white at the top remove the outline go to the shadow and let's add a little bit of a drop shadow maybe to the left so it traps so it falls on the ribbon the yellow ribbon that will be nice increase the transparency a little bit and then do some final tweaking until you're happy with the results and the chart. This looks about right. Now let's change the color to a gradient. So add the gradient fill to the rectangle and let's go from yellow on the top to maybe something more orange on the bottom that will give a nice effect on the ribbon. It's always better to have a little bit of a gradient rather than one fill color. Add a text. We're going to add the number 01. I think it always looks better if you add zero, one and have a pair of digits rather than just one. For the font, we're choosing Montserrat and a heavy or black even. Let's go for extra bold, that will look better. And now we want to add a title as well. So add a text box and then give it your title name. We're going for some dummy text. Make it white and change the font to Montserrat. Maybe just a light version of that one. That looks good. And now we have created our first ribbon. And once you're happy, then we're going to create some copies of it. So we select the entire ribbon, including the circle and the text. Position it to the top and then hold control while you drag to create some copies. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to have them spaced out evenly, you can just select them all and arrange and distribute horizontally. Let's select them all and position them a little bit higher so we don't have that space at the bottom and it's equally spaced. That looks better. Let's select the second rectangle and change the color to orange at the top and maybe something darker orange at the bottom. We do the same for the other ribbons. Next one is more of a pinkish, dark pink color. Then we go to purple, blue, light blue to darker blue, and eventually green at the bottom. So light green to a little bit of a darker green. This gives us a very beautiful color combination for this type of thing. Now we want to add the icons. So let's select a few different icons. In this case, let's go for transport modes. It can literally be anything that you want. Make them a little bit smaller and then position them in the center of the circles. Let's do walking first, cycling, boat, motor, car and an airplane. And then give them the same color or a similar color as the ribbon. This way we have created already a very beautiful slide. Um, next we want to change a little bit of the order so let's duplicate the slide and then drag out the ribbon to the right make sure you connect it to the sides and we do the same for the others so maybe the purple one is the furthest along and then you just drag it all the way to the left so it matches the slide one further purple then let's do blue and green a little bit back again of course, we want to change the number, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. Do the same on the first slide, we forgot that there. 
change the numbers. That looks better. And then add a transition morph. And there you can see it's an animated chart that you get on the page. Now you can also shift them to the left of the slide. That is also an option that you pull them out entirely and you don't reveal the text yet. And then you go to a full reveal. So you can really play around with the morph transition uh, how, depending on however you want to tell the story. Let's add a title. So let's just add a title, make it white. And a good font for this is Bebas Neue. You can really increase this font quite a lot and it still stays very narrow on the slide. So that's always a good choice for a title slide if you want. Position it in the middle. And let's create a duplicate. Reduce the font size and make this a subtitle in a sign painter font. So it's a handwritten font. And let's name it bar charts, for example. Now, if we want to stay in the same theme, we can always change the color of that text. So right click format shape, and then you can add a gradient fill, not to the background, but to the text option. So go to the text option tab, gradient fill, and then choose yellow and green as the end color. Make the gradient horizontal from left to right. And then we want to add multiple stops so they are in line with the text that we have or the other colors that we have on the page. So you can just click on the slider and add multiple stops with orange, pink, one with purple, blue, and then eventually green on the left. So that way it is in line with the ribbons and the rectangles that we have created on the left side. Let's also add a drop shadow to the top, increase the blur, and then if we position it up upwards, it will blend in nicely and it will contrast a little bit with the title, or the shadow at least will drop on the title. Play around with the font sizes until you are happy. You don't want to have it too large. Then copy it and paste it on the second slide that you're creating. Here we want to reduce the font size a little bit more. Position it on the top right corner. And let's add some dummy text to the slide. This can be just some lorem ipsum text, can be anything that you want. Change the font to Montserrat, make it white. And let's make it a light so it doesn't distract too much. And then you can fill in whatever you want on the slide. You can really choose and customize it however you like. Let's add the text box. Let's create a second text box instead of one large one. That's always easier to animate and to have it appear on the screen at different times. We want to copy this to the left to the first slide and drag it to the right. Space them out a little bit so they fly in with the morph transition at the different speeds. And let's preview. And this way you know how to create these nice colorful bar charts in PowerPoint, including the animations. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.